Hey, what is up YouTube? Uh, my name is David and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome, and for those who are returning, welcome back. Uh, today I have another CD collection update to do and today is going to be the last uh, collection update video of 2019. Um, any vi uh, the video, only videos after this are going to be my year-end list. And before we get into the CD collection update, just to let you know how it's going to go this year, I'm doing a top 50 this year. There will be a top 5, and those will be the only things in order. Actually, the album of the year will be the only thing ranked. The other four are interchangeable, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's how it's going to go this year. And I'm going to do 10... Um, 10 albums per video, so probably come out to be about four or five videos. So, uh, yeah, that is the plan for how the year end list is going to go this year. So, if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and start this CD collection update. First up, we have Candlemas with Ashes to Ashes. This is released in 2010. This is a live album and their only live album to feature Robert Lowe on vocals. Um, I already had this. It was part of the Candlemas Nuclear Blast Recordings collection that I showed a few videos back, but um, I wanted the DVD, so that's the only reason why I purchased it again. So, yeah. Um, if you like Candlemas, uh, great sound. Robert Lowe's performance with them is awesome. Uh, the band sound, the whole band sounds great. Cool set list. Got stuff from Death Magic Doom since this is their tour supporting Death Magic Doom, and some classics. Uh, and Robert Lowe sounds really, really good on the classics, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, Candlemas, Ashes to Ashes. If you like Candlemas and you have uh, never uh, and you're interested in seeing their live performances, that is a very cool DVD to check out if you have not already. Okay, now, a couple of 2019 releases to show real quick. I am not going to go into detail about these because they are going to be part of the year-end list, so I will talk to you more about them then. But really quickly, we have Diabolic Night with Beyond the Realm. This is fucking awesome speed metal. I can't wait to go into more detail about this. Love, love this album. And next up, we have Mystic with their debut full length. This is awesome Swedish speed heavy metal. Very, very cool shit. That will also be in the, um, in the year endless video. Next up, I believe I showed this one when I uh, did my concert review for the King Diamond show. Uh, Idle Hands with uh, Mana or Mana. Mana, if you're a fucking fan of... Uh, if you're a weeb who's a fan of video games and anime and that kind of shit, you say mana. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Idle Hands with uh, mana. This would definitely be part of the year end list this year. And finally, Blood Incantation, Hidden History of the Human Race. Which is, let's, you know, let me just go ahead and say it right now, it's going to be on fucking everybody's year end list. I mean, really. Yeah. All right, and now we're going to go to the rest of the CDs here. Uh, this is Sirith Ungol with uh, I'm Alive. This is a live album released uh, just this year, actually. It came out like a month or two ago, I want to say. And uh, yeah, Sirith Ungol, uh, awesome, um, just uh, traditional heavy metal with some doomy influences here and there, a bit of and they're also known as, like, being an epic heavy metal band, um, along with, you know, stuff like Manila Road, that kind of stuff. Um, this is a very, very cool, uh, set. You have, comes with two DVDs and, uh, two CDs. Um, a great performance. They sound just awesome here. Very, very cool set list that contains stuff from pretty much every album. From Frost and Fire to King of the Dead to One Foot in Hell. And I think there's even some uh, Lost Paradise tracks on here as well. So, uh, yeah. Very cool stuff. If you're a fan of this band, I would highly, highly re recommend you check this out. Like I said, uh, the band sounds great. The, the sound quality is great on this. Um, yeah, just very, very cool stuff uh, overall. Uh, this is a release through Metal Blade Records, by the way. So, yeah. Sirith Ungol with I'm Alive. If you're not familiar with Sirith Ungol and you're a fan of the traditional heavy metal stuff, definitely, definitely give those guys a listen. 
Next up, we're going to go to Last Chapter with The Living Waters. This was released in 1998. This is their debut full length. Okay, so Last Chapter. The only reason I bothered uh, checking out this band, I gotta be honest, is because uh, Robert Lowe is the vocalist on here. Um, as you know, Candle Mass and Solitude, I've been just obsessing over those bands uh, right now. You know, besides the 2019 shit that I've been listening to this year, those are the two bands I've been jamming the most. So, um, and I got a comment on my video when I showed off the Solitude DVD. Um, he told me, uh, a guy told me to check out Concept of God, and he told me to check out, check out this album. Because this is the only one that Robert Lowe sings on, and they only had one album after this, and then the band split up. I have not checked out the second album, no idea what it's like, but, um, the music on this, this is very, very cool stuff. Um... Definitely has a lot of similar vibes to Solitude Eternus. Uh, particularly, I want to say, a mix of, say, like, Through the Darkest Hour and the Downfall era. Although, um, well, yeah, I'll get to that later, so I'm not going to talk too much about that. But yeah, the, this album, um, yeah, a pretty similar vibe to those two Solitude albums. Um, what is different about it is um, just... I guess just the overall arrangements and everything is different in its own way, but I, I think the biggest thing is the keyboards on this. The keyboards on this have this very mystical, sort of dreamy, fairy tale kind of sound to them that, uh, especially within the interludes and on, particularly on the title track, The Living Waters, uh, just gives this album a lot of um, atmosphere. Um, so, uh, it's got a lot of Black Sabbath type of parts, doomy riffing, uh, awesome, awesome uh, thick drumming that's very versatile and just uh, has a lot of cool drum fills and some double bass moments. Um, of course, Robert Lowe's vocals, he sounds fucking fantastic. Uh, just his range and just his versatility with all the different stuff he does with his vocals, although he, for the most part, he keeps it straightforward and clean on this. He doesn't really experiment quite as much as he does on the, uh, on the Solitude stuff. But yeah, if you're a fan of Solitude Eternus and a fan of Robert Lowe's work, as I am, definitely, definitely give Last Chapter a listen. Very, very good album. I'm sorry about that. And next up, we're going to go to Candlemass with Ancient Dreams. This is their third full length. This is released in 1988, and this is a Peaceville reissue. And I have to say, a lot of these Candlemass albums that I've been picking up, this, Nightfall, and the Epicus copies that I have, these are all Peaceville reissues. And Peaceville did a great job um, remastering or reissuing these. Um, they sound really, really good. But uh, yeah, this is the second album to feature Messiah on vocals, and this album, um, Nightfall and Tales of Creation, all have very, very similar vibes. While they definitely sound like they are, they're, uh, it's a different album every time, they just, they really do, they have a lot of similarities, whether it's the songwriting, whether it's production, or just the overall sound that you hear. Um, yeah, those albums are very, very comparable in my opinion. But um, this album... Um, has been criticized quite a bit by a few fans, although some fans consider it an absolute classic, myself included. But apparently the band was not too happy with the production on this album. They said they just felt like it was rushed so they could go out and uh, finish or and start a tour that they were scheduled to do for this. But um, to me... I've never really had a problem with the production on this. I think it sounds pretty good, and the songs are definitely awesome. Front to back, this is a killer album. Um, plenty of cool tempo changes, awesome riffs. Messiah's vocals sound great. Um, uh, yeah, just, you know, the classic Candlemas stuff, you can't go wrong, and this is no exception. Um, if I had to pick my standout tracks from here, I would say Mirror, Mirror, A Cry from the Crypt, and uh, Incarnation of Evil. Incarnation of Evil is definitely my number one favorite track on here. Just, man, that fucking riff on there, that... J -j 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 yeah, that, that will instantly get your head to banging as soon as that riff comes up. Guaranteed. Uh, yeah, Countermass, Ancient Dreams.
Awesome stuff. All right. And next up, we're going to go to Solitude Eternus with Beyond the Crimson Horizon. This is released in 1992 on Road Racer Records. This is the original pressing of this. Um, so, as I've mentioned to you guys before, the first two Solitude Eternus albums are my absolute favorites. Uh, Into the Depths of Sorrow being my number one favorite, and I have that on the way now. So, I now own every Solitude Eternus album, as you're about to see with the next three CDs. Yeah, spoilers. Um, so yeah, the first two Solitude albums, um, as I've talked about before, you know, Solitude Eternus and Countermass are, are known to be pioneers of what's known as the Epic Doom style. And I still don't really know a whole lot about Epic Doom. Um, I, and I still don't really know what the actual differences are between that and traditional Doom. But whatever you want to call it, uh, this is just awesome quality Doom, Doomy heavy metal. Um, the riffs are just undeniably amazing on this. The guitar work, the solos, fucking awesome. The drumming is super thick and just, once again, adds um, so much layer and depth to the music. It's just great. Uh, fits the music perfectly. One second. Uh, like Into the Depths of Sorrow, um... Uh, these first two Solitude albums really have a strong power metal vibe to them. Um, just, you know, whether it's the riffs, the solos, or just everything overall, how it's coming together, these have a strong power metal vibe to them. But, um, uh, yeah, just Solitude Eternus, man. Uh, no such thing as a bad album from these guys, and this is, as I said, I think this is their second best, uh, without a doubt. So um, if I had to pick out my standout tracks uh, from Beyond the Crimson Horizon, I would say Seeds of the Desolate, The Final Sin, and It Came Upon One Night. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome. Solitude Eternus, Beyond the Crimson Horizon. And we're going to go to Solitude Eternus again, this time with Downfall. This is a Hammerheart reissue. Okay, so Downfall. This is hailed by many and the band themselves. Um, yeah, this is easily their worst album. But despite this being their worst album, for a band like Solitude, as I've said, they don't have a single bad album in their discography, not even this one, even though... What hinders this album is the production. It's got just a really sloppy, inconsistent, muddy kind of production, but the songwriting is still there. Uh, Solitude still managed to write very, very good material on this album. Um, and they also try to be a little more experimental and less doom on this, just trying to go into some different kind of territories here and there, just trying out some new stuff. But um, there is still some really, really awesome stuff on here. I love... Midnight Dreams and um, uh, Together and Wither and Only This and Nothing More. Phantoms, the first track on here is also really cool. They included Phantoms on their live DVD. So, um, but yeah, despite this being the worst album in their uh, discography, still uh, solid material, without a doubt. So yeah, Solid to Eternus with Downfall. And we're going to go to their fifth album, released in 1998, Adagio. This was basically them returning to form. Uh, um, being a little less experimental, bringing back more the doom into the sound. This is a heavy, heavy fucking album. Every single instrument on here just sounds just thick and just relentless. Really, really heavy. The drums, the bass, the guitars, just, yeah, like I said, just all super, super thick sounding. Great production, Robert Lowe's vocals, you know, I, I hate to keep repeating myself, but just absolutely amazing. He can do no wrong. Um, yeah, some really, really cool uh, songs on this one. Uh, Days of Prayer, um, Personal God, Insanity Circles. Insanity Circles definitely being the heaviest song on here by far and definitely my favorite riff 
on the entire album. And uh, I also really like... Uh, uh, this is also where Robert really started to um, contribute more to the writing, to writing the lyrics and everything, which started somewhat on Through the Darkest Hour when he started to change up his voice. But um, I really like Robert's uh, lyrical content on here. Um, I love his just, yeah, I love his, his lyrics, his songwriting. He is very good at, like, getting his feelings out there on things, but without overdoing it without feeling like he's just shoving your his opinion right down your throat you know you can interpret it in your own way and it becomes you know interesting to you um all the lyrics have his lyrics have always had double meaning ever since he started writing more for the band but um and this is a personal favorite of robert's um for that reason so uh yeah awesome stuff once again solitude eternus adagio Bear with me here. Yeah, I forgot the teeth on this are broken because unfortunately just during shipping and handling, I guess, somewhere, the case got a little screwed up. And the final album we have to talk about is Solitude Eternus again with Alone. This is their sixth. And as of so far, their final album. Um, I'm, it's unclear what exactly is going on with Solitude right now. From what I read, they're on, they've been on a very ha long hiatus but they're not officially split up as far as I know. Although I don't really, if they're not actually split up, I don't really see them resuming activities too, too soon because Robert Lowe just is involved with so many projects now. Um, he's got a project he's doing called Gathered in Darkness. He's doing something called Grief Collector. Um, and he's also in the band uh, Tyrant now. So he's got a lot of other things going on. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Alone. This is Robert Lowe's personal favorite, at least from what I can tell, uh, uh, listening to an interview on YouTube and him talking about it. it was, this is a very personal, tied-to-him project with the lyrics and all the music and everything. And uh, as you can see from that cover, very grim, very depressing, perfectly fits the music within. Um, this is probably their most doomy they've been in quite a few albums. Um, the first song on here, Scent of Death, that is just an absolutely perfect um, doom song. Uh, it's got to just, yeah, you, you just got to hear it. It's just so just dark and just dense and just heavy and just grim sounding. Uh, just, you know, like I said, like this cover you're seeing here. Um, awesome solos, a great production. Um great songwriting uh yeah just awesome stuff overall um my favorite tracks on here well as i mentioned the first track scent of death that is my absolute favorite on here without a doubt but also i really enjoy waiting for the light and is there an essence of black um yeah uh, this is originally released on Massacre Records, but I got this from Russia, and I believe the the label, um, the other label is what is Mystic Empire. So yeah, but uh, yeah, the final as of uh, as of late or so far, uh, Solitude Eternus album. But uh, we'll see if they ever come back and give us something else. I for one would love that, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Solitude Eternus, alone. Yeah, like I said, not a single bad album to be found with this band. So amazing. And Solitude Eternus uh, has definitely now become one of my all-time favorite bands. Now joining Death, Creator, Infernal Majesty, and Nevermore. So yeah, now Solitude Eternus is in there with all those guys. I've just been obsessing over that band lately and Candlemas, as I previously mentioned. But yeah, that's all I've got to talk about for now. Um, so as I've said, this is the last CD collection update for 2019. I will see you guys again on the year, uh, the year endless video. So stick around for that. And uh, hopefully you check that out. So 
yeah, as always, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting, liking, all that cool shit. Always appreciated, and uh, see you guys next time. Have a good one.